What is good, everybody? It is time for another Fair Shake review. And we're finally going to be talking about the English version of uh, Ailey's Amy, which is I'm Loving Amy. Um, and uh, yeah, it is a, a long time coming, <laughs> finally doing this. Um, if you haven't seen my Fair Shake reaction, to Amy, then I would definitely suggest you go check that out. Um, but on here, I am going to insert a reaction to the new track on here, Murder on the Dance Floor. Um, but um, I do want to um, do this little quick breakdown here in order, trackless order, as I like to do for my reviews. So. Um, the very first track, New Ego, is a really amazing, upbeat, big band pop soon. Really, really enjoyed that, the uh, same way I did in Korean. Um, and then, Murder on the Dance Floor, a slow burn breakup song with an unexpected rap section. So, you can see my first reaction to that right about now. Um, so, yeah, thanks for passing it to me, future me. Um, just going to be uh, doing this little reaction to Murder on the Dance Floor um, because uh, this is the only new track on I'm Loving Amy um, from Ailey. Uh, so want to check this out and uh, yeah. Um, if you are a patron, you'll be able to see this beforehand um, because this will be like a little insert in the uh, review so yeah had to do something different for this one since uh you know this is this is a a whole new experience but anyway um <laughs> murder on the dance floor we're gonna check that out and i'm gonna be inserting the reaction to this song in the review in the future since i i still have to listen to the english versions of all the other songs um so yeah murder on the dance floor let's go doing these lower octave performances I love it have another toast with me cuz she cuz her tone is just so good you try so hard to keep me out tired of excuses shut your mouth I'm fully bloomed this is my prime so sick and tired I'm done with the Okay, Ailey. Look at what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. Oh, let the map kind of 
pseudo rap kind of thing. I still really like this. I said pause. Why aren't you pausing? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was very interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so that was the new track from the English version. And I am, I am pretty pleased with that. Yeah. I mean, I am amused. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I dug that. Um, and um, I'm going to now use this moment to transition back into the normal review of the uh, album, which will go. And now we're back. And let me tell you a little bit about Bling. I thought that was a really, really fun song about, you know, treating her as valuable as she is. So, you know, that was really dope. My lips. It's just more confidence to kind of take the lead in, in meeting this guy. Um, the uh, Man Crush Monday here has her calling out uh, a man that has captured her attention, um, centered on kind of the Man, uh, man Crush Monday theme. It's a very nice funky joint. Um, Tattoo here is uh, more of a mid-tempo song about uh, wanting the man to give her an act. Uh, everlasting love that covers the past pain so that was pretty nice um but not one i plan on going back to as often um five to five um is a super uh nice and sexy joint um that i i think she just came through seductive and uh yeah uh i uh, she's just talking about how much time she's spending with this person um you know from five to five <laughs> I can't wink. Um, but yeah, love that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was nice. Love that. Beautiful Disaster is a nice slow jam about how she's kind of taking a chance on love again um, with this kind gentleman. Um, then uh, number nine, the What If I track is a, a more of a mid-tempo bop. Um, about her wanting to give it to temptation to be with this person of interest um, then we get into make up your mind where she's basically calling out this this lover here with the commitment issues then uh, lose myself to you has her confronting a lover who isn't investing themselves um, into the relationship as much as her and then ain't talking about me has her confronting a partner who is actually cheating um, and yeah I think throughout this whole entire project um like hearing the english versions of these songs give a whole lot more context to them um some of it does help me like some of the tracks a little bit more and then also there's a, a couple where i prefer the um the Korean version, like Man Crush Monday. I prefer hearing the Korean version of that because when you turned it to all English, the lyrics just become a little cringy and then the Korean, I don't really truly understand it, you know? So I can just go along with the melody itself. Um, but yeah, overall, Ailey continues to bring some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pop tunes here for people to listen to um, with a small splash of R&B. Mm -hmm. And I'm all here for it because I love, I love Ailey like that. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts on the project. Um, what do you guys think? Please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know what you think of this English version of this album is, including the new track, Murder on the Dance Floor. Um, and then also, um, if you're on, on uh, YouTube, you can also hit that like button. You can subscribe for more reactions and reviews here on the channel. I also have a Patreon linked in the description box. Um, and you can go to directly to patreon.com slash splitmaster5 if you're on the blog. If you'd like to support me and get some extra content including um, cover reactions, dance practice reactions, uh, performance reactions, all that good stuff like dance practice reactions. Um, and yeah, 
I'd greatly appreciate it if you support me as well as the Muddy Colt Madhouse leader, Muddy Colt Miko. That's how you'd be able to find her on Patreon as well. Um, but yeah, until next time, much love. Peace. Peace.